hey guys it's taps welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial in this very short tutorial i want to show you how you can clone any website landing page and then you can add it to wordpress super quick real quick as a matter of fact with a few click of a button here and there you would have this website cloned and as a matter of fact i'll show you how you can also edit the landing page and then finally how you can add this to your wordpress website literally for free you will not be spending a dime to get this done if this is exciting for you and this is exactly what you want to see let's get started without wasting so much time so for us to be able to achieve this we'll be using a chrome extension you need to visit the chrome web store and then you need to type in web page cloner and then you should have this extension here i already have this installed into my computer so if you don't have it you need to install this into your computer so once you install this into your computer you are good to go you should have this uh, icon here uh similar to this here is called the web page cloner extension so that's the first thing we have to do and once that is done then we are good to start so the next thing is for you to go to the landing page that you want to clone. For the purpose of this example, I would be using WordPress.org. So at this point, I need to make a disclaimer that I'm not encouraging you to clone WordPress.org or any other WordPress out there. I'm only showing you what's possible. And this tutorial is strictly for educational purposes alone. Nothing much more. Now that we are on the landing page that we want to clone, any landing page whatsoever, it doesn't matter how it is, whether it's WordPress, whether it's with HTML, whether, it, however, weeks, uh, any landing page you want to clone is fine. So now we will use the help of this Chrome extension. And if we click on this Chrome extension, right now you can see that this Chrome extension is able to search the whole page for every possible URL available to be cloned. So you can see I have WordPress.org, slash news, showcase, hosting. All of these can be cloned by this extension. But I just want to clone just one landing page. In your own case, you might want to tick all the pages if you want to clone the entire website. So I'll just hit the front page here, which is WordPress.org. And then I will hit start downloading. So you can see I have one files here. And you can see this has been downloaded into my computer here. So now I can just open this up. So what we can do right now is for us to copy the resources of this page and then we can upload that to our WordPress website. So we can do that right now, but I can just easily right click this. I can open this up with my Notepad++ or if you have your default Notepad or whatever application you have that can open a web page is fine. So let's just open this up. And then I have uh, the code to this page up here and that's literally everything we want to do so what i can do right now is just for me to copy this code so i'll right click this and i'll copy this code and that's it uh, so i can close this and then i can come to my wordpress website so i can come to this wordpress website here i can literally just come to my pages let's just add a new page and we can call this wp for the purpose of this example i can try to publish this page and then I can edit this page with Elementor. Any WordPress page that we do for this example, I'm just the Elementor guy. I love to work with Elementor. You can use Gutenberg, you can use any other page that you are comfortable with. All we want to use is just the HTML element for this landing page. So you can see here on this website, I have a header and also a footer, even though it's not uh, showing well, that's fine. But I will just want to change the template of this page. So I'll come to settings here and then I'll come to my page layout. I'll switch this to Elementor Canvas. So, so what I've just said there is just show me a plain Elementor Canvas for this page. And that's it. So now I will search for a widget, an HTML widget. And then I can just click this to bring this into my page. Uh, so you can say I have a HTML widget here, but before I do that let me come to the container because this should be wrapped inside the container let's try and edit this container here i want to make this one full width so yes and then i can come back to my html widget and then i can paste the code here that's it so you can see the magic just happen isn't this crazy so you can see this we have literally wordpress.org 
right now displaying on our website uh, this is super cool super beautiful uh, I can see that this is not showing full width I don't know why I have spacing up here and right and also by my left here but uh, the solution for that is just for us to play with our container uh, padding or margin so let's come to advanced for example so I can just play with uh, my margin so I can just do maybe minus 20 before I publish this page so like I was saying let's say you want to make changes to this landing page you want to change the button URL you want to change some images here and there you want to do some stuff so that will take me to another tool through through that will help you do this as easy as it can be so and that tool is called blue refund so i have done a tutorial around this i should leave this in the video description if you want to learn more about this software so you can just go to bluebefund.com you can come to download and then you should be able to download this into your computer uh so super simple and easy it's a free resource you don't need to install it you just need to open the file and just run the application so if you do you should have an interface like this this is what that software looks like so we can use this tool to literally edit our html page uh, so let's uh try to do that let's come to files let's come to open and then let's choose uh the downloaded uh file so this is it download so let's open this up uh, yes let's open this in the new tab literally you can see that we have our wordpress dot uh, org landing page here so you can change this uh, with this interface front end drag and drop you can change the text how super cool is this uh, so let's say I want to change this from WordPress flex to freedom I want to say dabs uh, for example I want to change this to dabs uh, super simple flex your freedom or flex your uh, clone I can just say I want to change this to clone how amazing is this uh, let's say that I want to change uh, like this is an image right now I want to change this image so if I click this or I double click this you can see this is the URL of this image so this image is taking the URL from wordpress.org so what you can do in your own case right now if you don't want this page to link back to wordpress.org is for you to uh, visit this uh, URL here copy it you can download that image upload it to your website and then change the url here to your website url i believe that is super simple but maybe we should illustrate that just for tutorial purpose so i can close this right now so let me close uh, this tool and then let's come to that uh, that url here and let's paste that here so this is the url so i can just right click this i can save this image into my computer right so that's done so i can come back to my wordpress website uh i need to uh, let's view this in a new tab let's come to new media let's upload that so i can just come to my download here i can upload this to my media library So I can copy this URL to clipboard and that's it. So I can go back to this software and then here now I can right click this and I can change this URL. I can delete this and then I can paste my URL here and I can press OK. So that's it. That has been replaced. Super simple, super easy. So now if I save this right now, that URL will load directly from my website. So it's the same thing here for maybe all these links let's say you want to change this link this theme here you can just copy this uh here and you can right click this so you can see this is the link for that you can change this to your web website url or whatever uh place you want that link to so you can do this you can change everything on this on this page you can change all the images you can uh, resource them back to your own page uh, that's it you can add the button you can do whatever you want to do here and this is super super amazing uh, you can change the logo too as well so if you double click this you can see this is the url for the logo you can change that to your logo you can change all the text amazing now, once you are done you want to save this so for example i can just come here and hit save 
So once this is saved right now, so we can then re-upload the saved version to our website. Super simple, right? So let's see that. I can close this. I can come back to Elementor here. I can come back to my HTML. So I can go back to my computer. So I can now right click this, edit this with a notepad or open it up again. And then I can copy this right now. And then I can come back to my live website here and then I can control A this, I can delete this. Super simple. So you can see our changes here, dabs, flex. So you can see our image right now will be uploading from our website. So now you can update your page and then I can just click this to view my page. And that's it. We have a landing page cloned and we have this on our WordPress website. And I believe this is super simple and easy for anyone to do. So you can experiment with this and give this a trial. That's my time for this tutorial. If you find it very useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. And I would see you in another tutorial. And until then, have a nice time.